I am going to place you inside of a room and then lock the door. Inside of the room, you're given a box of Chinese characters and a book of instructions on how to translate them. Now, in this scenario, you don't speak any Chinese, but you don't need to because you have your translation book. Now, there's someone outside of the room who only speaks Chinese, and they can only communicate with you by sliding pieces of paper under the door asking you questions. So your job is to receive the message, translate it using your book, and then put together a response to send back out using the characters in your room. From the perspective of the person outside of the room, it would appear that you are able to understand and respond to the question in Chinese, but you don't actually understand the question or the answer, you're just following a set of rules. This is called the Chinese Room, a famous thought experiment created by John Searle to criticize the idea of strong artificial intelligence. The argument suggests that even if a machine is able to produce behavior that appears to be intelligent, it's not actually experiencing true understanding, it's just following a set of instructions, which is all fun and games for now, but as AI gets more sophisticated, it will be interesting to see how we determine whether or not they have autonomy.